Hello viewers, welcome to our in-depth analysis of the sharp decline in UK university intake for 2024 due to government restrictions. This video will provide a comprehensive understanding of the factors contributing to this significant drop, including changes in immigration laws, visa policies, and the impact of Brexit. We'll also explore the implications of these changes for prospective students, universities, and the broader UK education sector, hence make sure you watch till the end of the video, so you do not miss out on this very vital information. For those new to the family, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, let's get into it. The UK's higher education system is facing an unprecedented crisis this year, with a sharp decline in student intake at universities, particularly among international students. According to Enrolly Data Insights, overall deposit payments are down by 52% compared with January 2023, and visa issuance is down by a staggering 71%. This decline is largely driven by changes in the UK government's visa policies. From January 2024, international students are no longer able to bring their dependents to the UK. Additionally, students are no longer permitted to switch to work route visas unless they have completed their studies. These changes have made the UK a less attractive destination for international students, leading to a cooling demand for UK higher education in key non-EU markets, such as India and Nigeria. The consequences of this decline could be severe. Universities, which rely heavily on tuition fees as a significant source of revenue, could face financial instability. There are also broader societal and economic impacts, which we will discuss in more detail later in this video. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this critical issue and explore what can be done to address it. This is a crisis that affects us all, and it's crucial that we understand it fully. 2.0. Decline in student intake from 2023 to 2024. Welcome back to our discussion on the UK's higher education crisis. In this segment, we will delve into the alarming decline in student intake from 2023 to 2024. The latest data from Enrolly Data Insights reveals a stark picture. Deposit payments, a critical indicator of student intake, have plummeted by 52% in January 2024, compared to the same period in 2023. Confirmation of acceptance for studies, CAS, issuance, and visa issuance have seen even more drastic declines, down by 64% and 71%, respectively. This downturn is not evenly distributed across all markets. The Nigerian market, for instance, has witnessed a collapse, with drops of 74% in deposits and 76% in CAS-visa issuance. There's also a significant decline in students from India, with deposits down by 52%, and CAS-visa issued down by 66%. These figures are not just numbers on a page. They represent thousands of students who have chosen not to pursue their education in the UK, and they signal a crisis for UK universities. The decline in student intake puts financial pressure on these institutions, many of which rely heavily on the higher tuition fees paid by international students. The impact of this decline extends beyond the universities themselves. It also affects the UK's reputation as a leading destination for higher education, and has broader economic implications. In the next segment, we will explore these impacts in more detail. 3.0. The effect of Brexit and other factors. The UK's decision to leave the European Union, commonly known as Brexit, has had a profound impact on the higher education sector. Before Brexit, EU students enjoyed the same tuition fees as domestic UK students, and had access to student loans. However, post-Brexit, EU students are now classified as international students, which means they are subject to higher tuition fees, and are no longer eligible for student loans. This has led to a significant decrease in EU student enrollment, as the cost of studying in the UK has become prohibitively expensive for many. In addition to the financial deterrence, the psychological impact of Brexit cannot be understated. The perceived unwelcoming climate, and uncertainty about future residency rights have discouraged EU students from choosing the UK as their study destination. The loss of EU students is particularly concerning, as they have traditionally formed a significant portion of the student body at UK universities, contributing to the diversity and cultural richness of campuses. Another factor contributing to the decline in university intake is the UK government's introduction of a points-based immigration system. This system prioritizes high-skilled workers and students, potentially making it more difficult for those who do not meet the stringent criteria to study in the UK. The new system may deter international students who are concerned about their post-study work opportunities and ability to transition into the UK workforce. Furthermore, the global COVID-19 pandemic has had a lasting impact on international student mobility. 
Travel restrictions, health concerns, and economic downturns have all played a role in students' decisions to defer or cancel their plans to study abroad. While the pandemic's effects may lessen over time, the initial shock to the system has contributed to the decline in student numbers. Lastly, competition from other countries is also a factor. Destinations such as Canada, Australia, and Germany are becoming increasingly attractive to international students due to more favorable immigration policies, lower tuition fees, and perceived openness and safety. The UK's restrictive policies may push prospective students to consider these alternative destinations. 4.0. The Implications for UK Universities the sharp decline in international student intake in UK universities for 2024 is expected to have significant financial implications. International students contribute significantly to the UK's economy, with their tuition fees being higher than those for local students. In fact, one in every five pounds received by UK universities in the previous year came from international students. The decline in international student numbers is expected to strain the financial sustainability of many UK universities. A report by PwC indicates that funding per student, in tuition fees and teaching grants, has been falling across the UK. This, coupled with a decline in international student numbers, is placing strain on margins and driving greater reliance on cross-subsidization, particularly from international student fee income. The PwC analysis also found that if the growth in international students stagnated in the 2024-25 academic year, the proportion of universities in financial deficit would rise from 19% to 27%. This mounting financial pressure could force universities to cut provision and delay capital works, including investment in both digital and physical infrastructure. The decline in international student numbers could also harm the UK's reputation and influence regarding cultural and diplomatic ties between countries. Universities could go bankrupt if the government limits the number of foreign students, particularly in poorer regions. This could lead to a massive increase in British students' fees, to make up for the loss of international student income. The decline in international student intake in UK universities for 2024 due to government restrictions, is expected to have significant financial implications for universities, potentially leading to financial deficits, increased tuition fees for domestic students, and even bankruptcy for some institutions. It could also harm the UK's international reputation and cultural and diplomatic ties. 5.0. University response to the crisis. In response to the sharp decline in international student intake, UK universities are employing a range of strategies to mitigate the impact and attract international students. Universities are adapting their recruitment strategies to reach out to potential students in innovative ways. Many have moved their recruitment activities online, hosting virtual open days, and webinars to engage with prospective students. They are also leveraging social media platforms and digital marketing to reach a wider audience and provide timely updates on changes in immigration policies and course offerings. In addition, universities are offering flexible study options, such as blended learning models that combine online and in-person teaching to cater to students who may be unable to travel due to pandemic-related restrictions. Some universities are also offering deferred enrollment or extended deadlines to accommodate students facing visa delays or other challenges. In the face of these challenges, universities are also exploring new ways to collaborate and innovate. Some are forming partnerships with overseas institutions to offer joint degrees or exchange programs. Others are investing in technology to enhance online learning and provide a high-quality educational experience for students, regardless of their location. In conclusion, while the sharp decline in international student intake for 2024 presents significant challenges, UK universities are responding proactively. Through adapting recruitment strategies, working closely with the government, and exploring innovative solutions, they are striving to mitigate the impact and continue to attract international students. In conclusion, the sharp decline in UK university intake for 2024 due to government restrictions is a complex issue, with far-reaching implications. It underscores the importance of understanding the dynamic nature of immigration laws, visa policies, and the broader political landscape. As the situation continues to evolve, it's crucial for prospective students, universities, and policymakers to stay informed and adapt to these changes. One of the ways of keeping informed is by subscribing to our channel, to ensure you receive latest and regular updates as they drop. Not so fast though, did you like the video? Do you have friends and family that need to know about these details to make their move to the UK a success? Then make sure you share, share and share. Many of you only watch my videos, a whooping 80% of you, but haven't subscribed. Why not? 
please subscribe today and turn on the notification button so that you'll be the first to be notified when I drop more of this content. For those that want to support the channel, my PayPal link is in the description of the video. If you need a paid inquiry, make a donation to the channel and send your details to my email, chroniclesawfola at gmail.com.